Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll see, uh, we'll discuss about algorithm three, that is short-term hydrothermal scheduling using penalty factors. In the previous algorithm, that is short-term hydrothermal scheduling using gamma lambda uh, iterations, we have seen two Lagrangian multipliers. That is, one is a lambda, and the second one is gamma. So, I said both these are Lagrangian multiplier, Lagrangian multiplier used in the objective function. So, we had written the objective function and the objective function we had written using Lagrangian multiplier, both these are Lagrangian multiplier. Actually, lambda is the incremental cause for thermal power plant. So, in uh, power system uh, analysis 2 uh, course, we have seen the scheduling of a thermal power plants where we have seen what is a lambda and the same term is used in the previous algorithms also where lambda is nothing but incremental cost for thermal power plant. Now, this gamma, it is actually a fictitious cost. of water for hydro plant. So, gamma is fictitious cost of water for hydro plant. So, we have to make use of this cost because we want incremental cost for uh, hydro plant 2. That is why we have multiplied lambda in the Lagrangian uh, equation. So, uh, this converts actually this converts incremental water rate to the incremental plant cost. So, gamma converts incremental water rate to the incremental plant cost. So, ultimately the objective function has to be an incremental plant cost. So, in order to get each term as incremental plant cost, so anyways the first term is for thermal and the second term what we had written previously is using gamma. So, when we multiply gamma with the uh, water volume, so we will be getting incremental plant cost. So, we will make use of all these terms again here in the third um, algorithm and we will see what is penalty factor and we will thereby we will see the scheduling of hydro and thermal power plant. So, let us consider a hydro plant and a uh, thermal plant meeting a demand PD. So, let us consider a hydro plant, hydro plant plus a thermal plant and the demand is meeting a demand P D. Okay. And let the volume of water available be volume of water available. Available be uh, Q naught. So, we are using Q naught for the water available and also let us use uh, the time period as a T, time period as T. So, we have not uh, splitted the entire time period into different intervals here. We will be just taking that the total time period as T. Now, since we do not have that discretization or we since we do not have uh, different intervals of time, so uh, we cannot use the summation for the objective function that is the summation symbol for objective function. In the previous algorithm what we have used, uh, uh, what we have done
done is for example so we have taken k is equal to 1 to n what does this say this says that the time is split it into n number of intervals so the interval is denoted by k here uh, nothing like that so we have we are taking the entire time period as uh, t and so the time is from 0 to t we are not splitting it into different intervals so now the objective function uh, writing will be diff uh, little different than the previous one so the objective function here will be so i can write objective function again objective function is to minimize because our main intention is to minimize the cost plant cost or the production cost so it is minimizing minimize what so um, cost so which can be given by ft for a thermal power plant so this is a cost function for thermal power plant so ft is for thermal power plant and from 0 to t time period and for um, um, hydro plant also we have to write so hydro plant it is given with respect to the water volume used so or the water discharge so i can write like this 0 to t consumed water volume which can be given by q naught and we know q naught as function of pgh and i said here here previously in order to convert the incremental water rate we have to multiply the gamma so this we have to write here so now this gives the uh, cost function for the thermal power plant uh, thermal power plant and this gives you the uh, cost uh, plant cost for hydro power plant so the entire cost or the total cost we have to minimize so this is the objective function let us take this as equation one now what are the constraints so constraints are two again similar to the previous one one is for power balance equation and the second one is for uh, water volume so first one i can write it as such that or the constraints such that first constraint is what so it is pd plus p loss minus pgh minus pgt is equal to 0 and the second constraint what we can write is uh, it is water volume so for uh, in the previous case we had written it as summation here we'll be writing it as integration because i don't know that disc discretization or interval values so 0 to t pgh dt so i can take this value as q total the total volume of water total volume of water so let me take this as third equation and this as second equation so let us assume that the demand is constant what is demand demand pd is constant so pd is demand so it is constant now we suppose there is incremental changes in the generation incremental changes is nothing but small changes in the generation then how to write equation 2 so i can write so since this is constant this will not be affected by the incremental changes in the generation that pd will not be affected by the incremental changes so only thing which changes is this this and this so i can write partial derivative of p loss uh, with the pgh delta pgh at a small change in pgh so since it is uh, p loss depends on both pgh and pgt i have to write partial derivative and it also um, changes with the pgt incremental change in pgt so i have to include a term here which is partial derivative of p loss with respect to pgt delta pgt pgt minus and the incremental changes of this so what is delta pgh minus delta pgt so this is for incremental changes so for let me write here for incremental changes in the generation for incremental changes in the 
generation when i say generation here both the generation that is nothing but hydro generation and thermal generation so i have to include both the concepts so for incremental changes in the generation the equation 2 can be written like this so let me take this as equation 4 now we have to make some rearrangements because we need to get a term called penalty factor so we'll see what is that term is actually so so let me do some uh, rearrangements here so what i'll do is let me shift all delta pgh term one side so what we have is a delta pgh if i take from here and here so we will be getting p loss minus pgh minus and here one which so it is one is equal to let me shift the pgt term to the other side so p uh, delta pgt into when this goes to the other side it is 1 minus 1 minus uh, the, uh, this term so this says minus so p loss pgt I hope it is clear. So, I will be just uh, mm, uh, simplifying the terms by taking common out. So, let me write this term similar to this because I know what is penalty factor. So, in order to get that term, I have to do some rearrangement. So, what I will do is, let me write this like this. So, uh, what it is? So, in order to get that, so I have to take minus 1 outside. So, minus delta P G H 1 minus delta P loss delta P G H is equal to this. Now, from equation 1, we can write, equation 1 is nothing but the objective function. So, I can write it as dft, which is, uh, if I differentiate it with respect to pgt and uh, that is for incremental change in pgt and we have the constraint for gamma, I mean uh, water volume. So, from uh, objective function, we can write for incremental changes in the generation, we can write this. So, now what I will do is multiplying equation 6 with 1 minus P loss PGH. So, let, let us see what we will get. So, let us multiply this equation with the uh, rho uh, p loss by rho p j. So, that is uh, 1 minus uh, partial derivative of p loss with respect to p g h because here uh, we have that condition. So, so here we have that term. So, in order to get that let us multiply the objective function with this. So, what we will be getting? So, we will be getting we will be getting 1 minus partial derivative of p loss with respect to pgh into this that is differentiation of ft with respect to pgt delta pgt plus again 1 minus p loss partial derivative of p loss with respect to um, pgh gamma d q naught d p g h delta p g h is equal to 0. From equation, the, let me take this as equation 5. Let me take this as equation 5. So, I can substitute now here. So, for this and this term that is delta p g h into 1 minus rho p loss by rho p g h. So, what is that term? So, this term. 
So, delta PGH 1 minus this can be written as minus delta PGT 1 minus rho P loss by rho PGT. So, let me substitute that. So, we have 1 minus rho P loss rho PGH differentiation of FT PGT DPGT delta PGT plus so I'll be substituting here so it is minus of let me write inside flower bracket so it is minus so I'll be substituting for this which is nothing but minus delta PGT 1 minus rho P loss rho P G T into the remaining terms what are they so gamma d q naught d p g h is equal to 0 so let us simplify this so we will shift uh, one term to other side so what we have is see i i want this is a differentiation of cost function of thermal power plant with respect to p g t so, I need a term which is 1 minus uh, rho p loss by rho p g t this side. So, I will shift this to the other side, this to this side. So, what happens is I can write now differentiation of f t p g t d p g t into delta p g t. Let me write this as it is first, then we will uh, simplify it is equal to, let me shift this to the other side. So, what we get as uh, gamma d q naught d p g h and uh, delta p g t and we have 1 minus rho p loss by rho p g t. So, I can cancel these two terms. Now, let me take this to the other side, this to this side. So, what we have is 1 by 1 minus gamma p loss, uh, sorry, rho p loss rho p g t into d f t p g t d p g t is equal to 1 by this goes to other side so 1 minus partial derivative of loss divided by pgh to gamma dq naught gh let me take this as equation 7 so let us split the equation into two equations so let us Split the equation into two. So, what we are writing basically from this is actually this is equal to this, and from the thermal power plant scheduling, we know that the, uh, the differentiation of cost function into this term basically this term is a penalty factor gives us incremental cost that is nothing but lambda so this we have seen in thermal scheduling so i can write the uh, this term is equal to this so since this term is equal to this i can write this term is equal to lambda so i can split now into two equations so what we get is gamma d q naught with respect to d p g h into 1 by 1 minus rho p loss rho p g h is equal to gamma uh, lambda similarly for this so differentiation of f t with respect to p g t into 1 minus 1 by 1 minus rho p loss rho p g t is equal to lambda 
now this can be simplified further as gamma this is incremental cost of hydro power plant so let me write this as i h into l h is equal to gamma what is l h l h is this term which is a penalty factor for hydro power plant which can be represented by l h similarly here i can write equal to this this is i t i t into l t what is i t i t is incremental fuel cost incremental cost fuel cost incremental fuel cost and this is incremental water rate so gives you incremental cost so let us write all the terms in detail what we have used because it is a bit confusing since we see many uh, differential terms over here so from this i can write now l i h here what is i h i h is incremental water rate of hydro plant how to write that it can be given as d q not by d p g h okay now what is l h l h is the penalty factor l h is a penalty factor so penalty factor how to write for penalty factor for hydro plant how to write this so it is 1 by 1 minus rho p loss rho p g h similarly i t is what i t is incremental fuel cost fuel cost of thermal power plant what is lt lt is so how to give this how to write this incremental so it is dft dpgt so what is um, lt lt is penalty factor for thermal plant so how to write this it is 1 by 1 minus rho p loss rho p g t so what we have written here let me take this as eighth equation and this as the ninth equation these are the equations 8 and 9 are the coordination equations 8 and 9 are the coordination equation which can be used for can be used for scheduling based on algorithm 3 so remember this equation so gamma dq not pgh and the penalty factor is equal to incremental cost and thus that is uh, differentiation of that is incremental fuel cost of thermal power plant into penalty factor gives us incremental cost of the uh, entire system so if you consider a lossless system so this term won't be there so this becomes lossless system is this term is zero this is almost zero so we get a gamma dq not dpgh is equal to lambda and dft d, uh, with respect to dpgt gives us lambda so that's it so using these two equations you can find out uh, scheduling based on um, third algorithm